everyone at Howard Garner Bilingual School. This is Courtney from the United States, a native. Uh, I live in Indiana. I just wanted to call in and say hello and uh, congratulations on your anniversary to Howard Garner Bilingual School. Um, I'm just so happy that I could see you all again and congratulations and I wish you nothing but the best. Hello, I'm Fabio Lafrique, musician, singer, and music educator here in the state of Rhode Island in the U.S. And today, I would like to congratulate the Howard Garden Bilingual School on its 10th anniversary and its steadfast commitment to teach the English language. Also, I would like to take the opportunity to thank Jorge Diaz, his coordinator, and the teamwork for this incredible job you are doing there in Savannah Larga, Atlantic. And also, I would like to welcome you all and also you can enjoy this cultural week approaching that this beautiful institution has prepared for all of you. Thank you. Hello, my name is Nicolas and I want to say congratulations to Howard and the Bilingual School. Happy 10th year! Hi, my name is Juliana. physically together due to the situation generated by the COVID-19 pandemic. This doesn't keep up from being together through digital means like this. And that we have taken biosecurity protection measures seriously to carry out this program. We invite you to do the same. Continuing to respect these actions is essential to defeat the virus. We really appreciate that you connect punctually to watch this wonderful event. Sit back and enjoy. It's time to appreciate the talent of our elementary school classmates in this series called HGBS MasterChef Junior. Enjoy looking at the dishes they prepare for us. Hey 
into a scarf or pies. Condensed milk. Stir. Add the condensed milk and we stir. Finally, we serve to taste. It's delicious. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Hi, my name is Carlos and I am in February. This is my recipe. Recipe is called burger. The ingredients are bread.
of chicken sandwich. The ingredients are two slices of bread, lettuce, two slices of tomatoes, one piece of fried chicken, mustard and mayonnaise, one one slice of cheese. The process to prepare the chicken sandwich is wash a pair with a knife with a slices of bread with mustard and mayonnaise. Second, place the lettuce and the slice of tomato in one. Then close the sandwich with the other slices of bread. And finally, fry the sandwich on a pan. This is the chicken sandwich. It's delicious. Thank for watching. Bye bye. Finally, you can decorate it with ketchup.
finally meet me here and get Luna. I am the food great. This is my recipe called strawberry loaf. The ingredients are strawberries, vanilla drops, cream, and sugar. First, we chop the strawberries. We add two tablespoons of sugar and vanilla drops of vanilla essence to milk cream. The ingredients are pineapple shrimp, tangerine, kiwi, banana, flavored coconut, lettuce, and condensed milk. How to make a Maui fruit salad? Getting a start. First, let's put the tangerine and pineapple in a bowl. Second, cook up the banana. Later, cook up the kiwi. Later, add the fruit to the bowl. Later, put lettuce on plate. Sort the lettuce with fruit salad. Finally, add condensed milk and coconut a snowflake and enjoy. The snow with fruit salad. Mmm, it's delicious. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Make a salad fruit. The ingredients are pineapple chunks, mandarin orange, kiwi, banana, red coconut, and lettuce. How you make a snowy fruit salad? Getting started. The preparation. The preparation is step one. First, let's put the orange and pineapples in a bowl. 
Physical activity is the key to staying healthy. But what sports can you practice? That is what the children in levels 1 and 2 will tell us about. Hi everyone, I'm Angelica Verdugo and today I'm going to talk about chess. Do you know what? The second book ever printed in the English language was about chess. Chess is a two-player strategy board game played on a checkerboard with 64 squares, arranged in an 8x8 square grid. Today we know that chess originated from the Gupta Empire, 600 CE of India. However, many people feel relieved that chess was played by the ancient Egyptians. What do we need to play? We need a basic chess set and a club. I really like chess because it can redirect you, it helps prevent Alzheimer's, it increases your creativity, it improves your memory, it increases problem solving skills, it increases training skills, and last but not least, it improves concentration. Good morning, I am Samuel Umada, and today I'm going to talk about athletics. Do you know what? Athletic shoes are called sneakers because when they were invented, people used them to their advantage to move around quickly. Athletics is often used synonymously with any sporting activity. But in most cases, athletics refers primarily to track and field events that involve running, jumping, rowing, or walking. What do we need to practice it? We need javelins, discus, shot put, hammers, throwing cages, landing areas, jumping uprights, among others. I really like this sport because it includes important qualities such as athletic skills, concentration, decision making skills, dedication, aid hand coordination, stamina, and the ability to work well as a team player. Thank you very much. Hi, I am Isabel Apollo and today I am going to talk about chess. Do you know what? Tennis balls were originally white. In 1986, these balls were first introduced at Wilderness. Tennis is a racket sport that can be played or individually against a single opponent or between teams of two players each. What do we need to play it? A racket, tennis balls, shoes, and a dress code and mandatory equipment for the sport. Apart from the player needs, the tennis court needs and need to set per playing area of each player. I really like tennis because it's a good sport for maintaining health, fitness, and strength and agility. It also has social and psychological benefits. You can play with a club with your friends and family as a social activity. Thank you. Hey Liz, you're probably wondering how to say some Spanish expressions in English, such as Esta leyendo un aguacero, Eres más fresco que una lechuga, Echarle leña al fuego, among others. Our classmates of level 3 are going to teach us these expressions, what they mean, and how to use them. Idiomatic expressions are a type of informal language that have a meaning different from the meaning of the words in the expression. They are an important part of everyday English. They come up all the time in both written and spoken English. Learning to use common idiomatic expressions will make your English sound more native, so it's a good idea to master some of these expressions. 
Hello everyone, my name is Natalia Polo. I am a student at Howard Garner Bilingual School. Today, my classmates and I will be teaching you some common idiomatic expressions from English-speaking countries. The idiom is as cool as cucumber. This expression means be very calm and relaxed, particularly when it is punching. For example, Carl is walking in a school as cucumber after slapping the senior schoolmate. So tight in front of both. The idiom is in the boat. This expression means to lose an opportunity to do something by being slow to act. For example, if you don't pay attention, you will miss the boat and do badly in your chance. The idiom is, once in a blue moon, this expression means that something rarely happens. For example, my sister lives in Alaska, so I only see her once in a blue moon. The idiom is butterflies in my stomach. This expression means to feel a very nervous and restless. For example, tomorrow is my first day at a new school. I have butterflies in my stomach. I hope that I am able to find all of my classes. The idiom is a chip of the old block. This expression means somebody who is very similar in character to their father or mother. For example, Jenny is a real chief of the old block. She must have been very close to her father when she was young. The idiom is five talk and love. This expression means come by using a your resource and tools at your disposal. For example, he will need to buy talk and talk for a place in the team. The idiom means find the plan. This expression means make a bad situation even worse. For example, this expression finds the planes of racial tension. The idiom is training that and those. This expression means that it's training health. For example, I think it's not safe to drive the car now because it's training that and those. The idiom is cut by your tongue. This is expression if you need to refer a time when someone has nothing to say. For example, the big boy or cut by your tongue. Hello guys, the idiom is blessing in disguise. This expression means that something that same but affairs result in something good later. For example, losing that job was a blessing in disguise is real. Sophia, I have good news for you. I know how much you love makeup. Two of our Liverpool classmates want to show us a makeup tutorial. Would you like to see it? Here it is. Hello, hello to all the people who are connected. My name is Maria de Dios Machacón from the ninth grade. And today I will be doing a step-by-step -step colorful makeup tutorial explaining everything related to it and the implements or utensils that I will be using. To make up the eyebrows, I am going to use this eyebrow polish. For this, I'm going to use this diagonal brush. To fill in the eyebrow, first I'm going to outline the bottom part and I fill most of the eyebrow only on the edges. And from there, I blur the product that remains for me. It should be darker towards the corners and lighter towards the front, so that it looks natural and not too marked. Next, I'm going to outline or frame around the brow with concealer to highlight the brow. I'm going to use this flawless liquid concealer from Ruby Rose. I'm going to take a flat brush to have more precision when correcting the eyebrow. With the brush we take a little concealer and apply it in this way 
making downward strokes. Then I pass all the product so that it gives a more uniform layer of concealer. We take concealer again and we are going to do it from the top. Now I go back to taking product to clean in the front part and that's it. And to finish this part we pass a brush where the eyebrow begins to define it. Now I'm going to grab a beauty blender, this spoon, to blend the concealer. I'm going to moisten it a little with this rose facial toner. To blur, we must do it by tapping. It doesn't drag because it can leave stains and it doesn't look uniform. The next step is to apply the shadow, but before that we are going to apply a pre-base for shadows on the eyelid. This will ensure that we have the same color of the eyelid to be able to blur the shadow and that it highlights the color as much as possible. For this I'm going to use this primer and concealer from the Kiss Beauty brand and I blend it with the Beauty Blender. Next, applying the aged shadow, I will be using this Ready For palette from the Ruby Rose brand. I am going to take this orange shade and with a precision brush I am going to deposit the shadow on the outside of the eye and from there I am going to carry it through the entire basin of the eye until I reach the tear duct. Then I am going to make a closed coat in the fold. For this I am going to use the flawless concealer and a flat brush starting from the tear duct and following the basin. As the first tone there I will be applying this white color. As a second, add satin blue shadow. And in the corner, you blur with a stronger blue. I'm going to apply it with a golden liquid liner, or it can also be done with a thin brush following your basic. Now we proceed with the face. I will apply the primer. It serves to smooth the face, blurring expressions lines, or open pores, and prolonging the duration of makeup. Now I'm going to apply the base, in this case I'm going to use the Ruby Rose Base Fills shade 30 and apply it with a cat's tongue brush. I'm going to take the base directly on the brush in this way downwards so that there is an uniform coverage. Everything that is left on the brush I go down to the neck. Now I'm going to take the Beauty Blender and dab it over the face to blur and soften it. Then I will use concealer to highlight or illuminate the upper parts of your face. I will be applying it under the eyes to correct or cover dark circles or imperfections. Then I blend it with the sponge by tapping. To seal I'm going to use this loose powder and brush to apply it on the parts where I apply concealer. Now to give more color and contouring of the face I'm going to tan it with this contour and blush palette. I'm going to use a brush a little diagonal and I'm going to apply in this way. Taking the same contour with a smaller brush, I am going to contour the nose to make it look a little more profiled. I'm going to take this highlighter and with a fan or closed brush, we apply the highlighter on the cheekbones and on the tip of the nose and a little above the mouth. Finally, I'm going to apply this lipstick and I put on false eyelashes. This is how the look was finally left. I hope you like it and thank you very much for your attention. Hello, my name is Mary Paz Escorcia, I'm from 10th grade and today I will be giving you step by step the daily makeup tutorial. The first thing we are going to do is prepare our skin, wash it with soap and apply a moisturizing. The second step is to apply the makeup bath to match the skin tone, in this case. I will be using the MAC bath and I am going to take the bath and I am going to apply it in this way on the face. Then I take a beauty blender. This on one time I using is from the Paulis Grow brand. And we blur our bath so that we have a uniform tone. Next to spread I very well over my face and I'm going to take it to make neck. No less apply a shandon primer or primer to have the tone of our alien alien up the shandon.
The way I'm going to cover it and illuminate, I'm going to use a liquid concert and I'm going to apply the under eyes around the center of the nose. On the chin, I'm leading of the forehead to give lead to. And usually, I'm going to blend with the sponge which those things give a natural finish. Then, I'm going to apply compact powder I nose areas. In this case, I use the one from the brand Mace Cosmetics. Down on forehead, also apply in you know, the alien to save the primer. The fourth tip is to take a blush. I will be using the lovely pink blush from the trendy brand and I will the slim open blush that is the leader circular. I will apply it if not the shake. I will take a single dark outlet and apply the width a diagonal brush on the line between the forehead and the right and left not forehead the neck where also a layer of the owning. Next, I'm going to take this power highlighter and wish a fiery open brush. I'm going to apply it in the same way blur. Then I'm going to make up the every brush. I'm going to use an every brush to comb them and then with the angular brush I take some every shadow. This one time I'm going to use combs and two tones. I'm going to take the dirt one. I start in the low part of the eyebrows to outline in and then it start to fill in, in so that there are no gaps in the eyebrow. Now let's continue with the eyeshadow where I'm going to take a lime brown tone with a chubby pencil shape brush. Where I'm going to place this tone over the under eyes. Make sure it's a main tone and doesn't no have shine. What I'm going to up in ten to the outer part of eight. Tagging is to socket making circular moments. I'm going to add a pink tone and blend and very well a sounding blue. Then I'm going to add light shade the leading side to the front of the A with applicator brush. In the corner of the A, I'm going to apply a shade leader dark and I'm going to blur it with the same shine. Finally, I'm going to apply a glass and and lip. This is how our makeup was. Thank you very much to see. Some friends who are part of our beloved family and who are still studying hard to building community wanted to send us a message of love and gratitude. Let's see. Hello, this is Caterina Garcia, graduate from Howard Gardner Bilingual School, which had the second best ICFA score and the first on English proficiency of all Sabana Larga. I was a valedictorian of my prom, I also had the best ICFA score of the class, and now I study astronomy at the Universidad de Antioquia. I thought of talking a little bit about my wonderful experience as a student there, and I don't even know where to begin. There's so much to say. But let's start with the faculty. At Howard Gardner, you not only find a bunch of teachers, but loyal friends who you can trust no matter what. Passionate teachers is what you can run into once you get in. People who truly love what they do to the point you can tell of a lot. I feel very, very honored I had, a su I had such wonderful teachers. Science is an important field fiercely defended by our beloved school. I had a really wonderful time by taking part of research groups where they not only open the doors to your imagination, but only give you a great time and a place to find friends in a way. Also, we're very, very passionate for all kinds of arts. 
and languages, mostly of course English. So Howard Gardner is a perfect place to learn and improve your English skills, which are extremely, extremely important nowadays. Howard Gardner has given me the key to keep getting better and better every single day of my life. And also, we have awesome activities such as English at Park, where we as students uh, bring out our, our art and English skills so the world knows that we have a voice, that we have talent, that we have precious knowledge and that we can. And the feeling can be measured by words. Once I got in, I uh, lucky found at any corner was talented people who had truly high expectations for their future that I think that would characterize us as, 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 as a gardenerist and forget about classmates. At Howard Gardner, there's no such, such thing like classmates. There you find a place in the world, you have true friends and I think that's awesome. I wish I could stay and say more and more, but I think it, that would take all day long. All I can Hi everybody, my name is Jennifer Hernandez. I'm, I'm 17 years old. I studied in Howard Gardner Bilingual School last year and now I'm studying geology at the Universidad del Norte. I have been learning English since the school was founded, so I have studied English for more than the half of my life. And I really like English, so I not only learn from the school, I also learn by myself. And I remember that thanks to the school and me, it was able to get an excellent score on the FS exam. And thanks to that, I was placed at a high level in the university. So English in the school is quite complicated. And the teachers will teach you a lot because most time is dedicated to English classes in so much that it is fundamental in the institution. At the university, the English I learned in the school has been useful to me. So I want to invite you to join to the school. You are going to learn English, you will meet a good teachers, you will have a good time. And the best thing is that you will learn both, academically and personally. Well, hello everyone, I'm Marcos Perez and I'm a class 2019 graduate of Howard Garner Bilingual School. Now I'm studying environmental engineering at the university. Through this video I want to show you my personal experience learning English and also why is this language so important in my ways. Because I know that maybe you're thinking right now that this language is boring and useless for your life, but trust me, it is not. It's so important and also funny to learn. For example, you need a minimum level of English to graduate from the university, it's B2. And also if you want to go exchange, for example, to Canada or United States, you could if you speak the language of English. Well, I started learning English at this school in 6th grade. If I'm being honest, at the beginning I really didn't like it because it was more like another subject to study and you know, all that stuff. But Eventually, when I was uh, with my friends, talking in English and listening to music, I was getting into the language, getting more confidence with my English level and my speaking. And that's why I'm so glad of have learned English at this school. I'm Marcus and I hope I encourage you to learn English and see you next time. Say so goodbye. We want to send you all our love and express you all our gratitude to you for joining us in this broadcasting. We remind you to maintain biosecurity measures to mitigate any contagion of COVID-19. And remember, be careful, wash your hands, and stay at home. Don't forget. Keep the faith and hope that with God's help, this situation will soon pass and we'll be together again. May God bless you. Bye. Shine bright like a diamond Shine bright like a diamond Find like the beautiful sea I just to be happy You and I, you and I We're all diamonds in the sky you are shooting a star I see, a vision of us to see. When you hold me, I 
I'm alive Where the diamonds in the sky I knew that we can all go right away Oh, right away At first sight I felt energy as on the race I saw the life in sense of shine bright Tonight, when I We're beautiful like diamonds in the skies I do light, so I light We're beautiful like diamonds in the sky Shine bright like a diamond Whoa. We're a beautiful like diamonds in the sky. Whoa, whoa. We're a beautiful like diamonds in the sky. Boom rise to the universe as we won't shine on Mali. Kill the war, we'll never die. We're a diamonds in the sky. You are shooting a star I see, a vision of as the sea. When you hold me, I'm alive, where are diamonds in the sky? Out for a side I bow, energy as on the race. I saw the life and sun to shine bright tonight, you and I. We're a beautiful like diamonds in the skies. I do light, so I light. We're a beautiful like diamonds in the skies.